Hello Kais, I'm going to do a short video on some topics that are covered in your Unit 2. And one of the topics is graphing a function. And I'm going to take this function, I'm going to show you how to use your calculator to graph. So I have my calculator pulled up. This is the TI-83 Plus. Um, with this calculator, what we're going to do to graph is we're going to go to Y equals at the top. This is your line for graphing. I guess first you can see the on buttons down here. Now we're going to take this function that we have, negative one-third x squared, and we're going to type it in our calculator. But all fractions we're going to place in parentheses. So I'm going to come back to my calculator. I'm going to type in, uh, I'm trying to find my mouse here, I'm going to type in now you'll be typing this uh, by hand, but mine's on the computer. So I have parentheses, and then I'll have to use the negative at the bottom of the screen. Negative one divided by three, and I'm on close parentheses. So it looks like this. And then notice my function has an X value. So we are going to use the X that's right by the alpha key. We're gonna push the square button so it looks like this. So this is our function that we have. Now what they want us to do is they want us to select which graph this would be. Since this has a negative in front, we know that it opens down. So that means it's gonna be one of these three right here. But what I'm gonna do is notice my uh, window on all these are a five by five. I'm gonna set my calculator to a five by five window. So we're gonna push um, the window button at the top. Notice it gives you a screen that looks like this. Our numbers are going from negative five to a positive five. So we're gonna come and type in negative five. So negatives at the bottom. We're gonna come down with our arrow key and type in a five. Notice they are counting by ones. Um, so we have like zero, one, two, three. So that's gonna be the scale. Right now my scale is two. So I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna change that to a one. And that's my X axis. And now I'm gonna go to my Y axis and do the same thing. So I'm gonna type in negative five, come down, I'm gonna put in five. And then my scale is one. And then the residual means what the points count by, so we're gonna leave that as one. Now notice there's a graph key. We're gonna push graph, and we should see a graph of what we're trying to find. And so notice how it goes through the origin. So we're gonna come and we'll select the one. Uh, notice this one that matches our graph. Okay. Now, if your uh, calculator is not working, like say for instance you hit graph and it, it does something and it gives you an error message, if you push your Y equals button, if any of the plots up here at the top, say for instance, let me go turn one on where you can see. If for instance uh, someone was using the calculator and they have this turned on, this is using statistics a lot. What I would need to do is be sure to go back up with my arrow key on top and push enter so that... Um, this will not be showing. Now, when I hit graph, it should match what I have. If you wanna put your window back to a 10 by 10 window, which is used a lot, you can push zoom and number six standard. I'll do that right now. And I'll push six. Notice it makes your axis now a 10 by 10 window. So that's some of the things that you can use on your calculator in case you need this.